Welcome to the State Television Campaign of Western Armenia, today's broadcast. Karin Tag Baku continues to destroy Armenian settlements in Artsakh. Say no to Azerbaijan and to hostage diplomacy of Azerbaijan, Senator Edward Markey. Construction of an information center will begin in the area to the entrance to the Bajni Fortress. Photos and biographies of the fallen servicemen will be published on the website of Servicemen's Insurance Fund. Concert exhibitions dedicated to Komitas 155 birthday in Cardiff. Misak Gochian, a 12-year-old resident of Akum village in Tallinn, is the first Guinness record holder of the year. Baku continues to destroy entire settlements and residential districts in the temporarily occupied Artsakh. This is reported by the Office of the Ombudsman of the Cultural Heritage of the Armenian Highlands. They published a video about the um, destruction of the ground of the heroic Karintak settlement in Shushi region. They emphasized that all this once again proves that the entire cultural heritage of Artsakh is under threat. Karintak village is located in the Shushi region of Artsakh, directly below the southern vertical cliffs of the city of Shushi on the left bank of the Karkar River. Let me remind you that after the 44-day war, the monument dedicated to the 1991-1994 self-defense of Karintak was destroyed, and in 2021, the dictator of Baku announced that the change of the historical and religious environment of the village and on November 7 of the same year, he established a mosque in the village. However, I should mention that even during the Soviet years, when Baku did everything to change the ethnic image of the region, Karintag had an exclusively Armenian population. Senator Edward Markey from the U.S. state of Massachusetts called on the United States and the international community to take all possible measures, including the holding of the upcoming UN climate conference this year to ensure the release of Armenian hostages and prisoners eagerly arrested by the Aliyev regime. The senator noted that Baku regularly uses hostage diplomacy by prolonging illegal detention. He is using prisoners of war as bargaining chips to impose his demands on Eastern Armenia, which is a clear violation of international law. Baku says that it wants peace, but what is he actually doing is acting without impunity, the senator emphasized. Therefore, it is for this very reason that the Congress should speak out and say no to Azerbaijan and no to host his diplomacy. Specialists in the preservation of historical and cultural monuments visited the monuments of Gotaik region, the necessity of creating a new protective zone of the early Iron Age Red Fort Fortress and organizing the entrance to the fortress was discussed, as well as the restoration project of Sovuni village, a monument dedicated to the memory of the victims of the Second World War, which will start in 2024 on initiative of the community. The place where the construction of the information center will begin has been chosen in the area adjacent to the entrance to the Bijni Fortress. Bajni Castle Fortress is one of the prominent structures of medieval castle construction. It is located on the right bank of the Razdan River on the eastern side of the village, on a high promontory surrounded by impassable rocks. The castle is the result of the construction activities of Vasak Pahlavuni and his son Grigor Magistros, built St. Astvatadzin and the main church of Kecharis Monastery. The specialists also visited the Holy Astvatatin Church of Bizhni village, whose emergency wall was repaired in 2023. The photos and personal stories of about 4,300 servicemen who died for the defense of the motherland since 2008 will be published on the website of National Servicemen Insurance Fund. The purpose of the project is to recognize the servicemen who sacrificed their lives for the sake of all our, our motherlands. According to the shadow biographies, will be published on the website at the beginning of 2025. The opinion of publishing the photographs and biographies of the fallen servicemen in the form of a book is also being discussed. The fund launched the back is here, the campaign which aims to express gratitude to everybody, working citizen of every Armenian who makes a mandatory stamp payment from his salary every month, due to which a significant part of the financial resources of Zinapahi is formed. The Klingon Choir and Cultural Association presented for the first time a large-scale concert exhibition dedicated to the 155th anniversary of the birth of Komitas in the St. German Church in the capital of Wales. The musicians and spectators visited the memorial to the victims of the genocide committed against Armenians in Cardiff, and they also bowed flowers and paid their respects. It was installed in the Garden of Peace Temple in 2007, and the exhibition presented unique pieces of art and silver jewelry made by Armenian jewelers in the territory of the Ottoman Empire from the 18th to 19th century. Komitas manuscripts, recordings, and books were of particular interest. 
Misa Golchan, a 12-year-old resident of Akung village in Tallinn, set the first Guinness record of the year. He did 52 spins in one minute on the spinning bar in the circle of the big back spinning exercise. Thus, due to six months of hard work, the young hero was able to exceed the current Guinness record holder, David Fahradian, by four revolutions, who performed 48 revolutions in one minute. It should be noted that the students of AJIAM Academy of Tallinn already have 70 Guinness records. Dear viewers, this was all the basic news for today. Goodbye.